What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel Jordine here. Today's video is going to be nice and short and sweet. If you guys remember I had these braids in my hair. Ooh, It's been, I think I did them on, it was like March the 4th, 15th I think I did them on. So it's been um, almost a month. I think the 15th is on like Monday or something or Sunday, I don't know. But it's been almost a month, so I had these braids in. I'm trying not to take them out to the 17th, which is the day that I head off to London. And I have like a nine hour flight, so I said I would take them off on the plane. However, I changed my mind because I want to deep condition my hair and all that stuff and I don't want to leave it out. Um, take it out on the plane and have deep conditioner sitting in there while I'm on the plane because I don't know exactly what we're going to do when I land. So what I'm going to do now is just do a quick refresher on these braids. As you can see, they don't look half bad. They still look, you know, okay. They're a little dry. My camera's gonna die. Anyway, they're a little dry, so what I'm gonna do is just really quickly, um, yeah, refresh these bad boys. So, first off, I'm gonna put some oil into my scalp. I have my Hot 6 oil here. What was this? $4.99. I usually get the one that I pour into my hand, but I have the spray left. I need to buy some more of the other one. So I'm just gonna put some oil into my scalp, because it's a little dry. When I did this, um, I'll put the video up here um, where you guys can see, I guess it would be up here actually, but I'll put the video there so you guys can see um, how I did these. It took me seven and a half hours of my life to get these bad boys done. If you can see the ends of this, like, can you see the ends? They're so dry, they're so dry. It took me seven and a half hours of my life and all I did was use some of the oil. Um, I did it on freshly washed, blow dried hair because I wanted to retain the length and if I did it while it was wet, it would have shriveled up a little bit more. I did recently wash these. Um, I did like a little apple cider vinegar rinse and I washed them because my scalp was like, it needed some love. And surprisingly, it didn't mess up like I thought it would. Anyway, yeah, I'll put the video up there so you guys can check it out and see how I did these. So I only used Hot 6 oil and I used the um, Natural 87's Twisting Elongating Style Cream. So I'm gonna use some of this mousse here. This one has um, maximum shine and wave. I didn't need all that extra hold, so we're not gonna go with that. So I'm gonna shake it up some. I'm gonna go with like this amount. I don't have time because this camera's gonna die, so we're gonna go ahead and not put this in sections. We're gonna just go ahead and. Make sure you get them ends. I have like another week left with this hair, so I want to make sure that uh, I have it looking nice. I thought about keeping it in even while I'm on vacation, but I missed my curls, so we're gonna go ahead and get one more pass through of this in the back. Ooh. Smells good. All right. Then I also have some of this um, Bella Curl Coconut and Cream Curl Defining Gel uh, Curl Defining Cream. Um, this is what it looks like. So I'm going to take this mainly for my ends is what I'm um, wanting to put this on. So I'm gonna put it on my edge just to give it some moisture on this curl defining cream. I'm gonna focus mainly on these ends because they are just so dry. And when I do take my hair out, I'm going to be like um, cutting off the dead ends of this hair, so. I haven't used, I used to always use this brand and I kind of just stopped. Like I had bought a bunch of stuff in it. It worked, you know, but I kind of just hadn't used it. And it smells so good. All right, you guys can see like they're a little bit more moisturized now. They're still dry because, you know, with this color in my hair, but they're a little bit more wet. And I want to take some and put it through my whole entire head. Let me make sure you rub it in there so it's not leaving any white residue behind. I'm 
what is this? Oh, this is the, the cream. I want to seal it in there, so we're going to take some of this. Spray some more of the oil on there. And there you go. Seal all that in there. It's usually how I have it when it's out and down it's here, but I'm actually going to put it in a half up, half down style. Um, lately, that's how I've been wearing it. Now, I would say you should do this, like, depending on how long you're going to keep it in, you should do something like this, like, once every, like, week and a half or once every week. Um, the first like two weeks I did nothing to my hair then um, I think Friday today's Tuesday by the way um, April the 9th which I'm gonna post this video today um, I believe on Friday it was either Friday or Thursday night one of them I washed it and did the um, the little apple cider vinegar rinse for my scalp all right now I'm gonna use some of this edge control this is the she is bomb edge control I feel like all edge controls that I have they start off really well in my hair and then all of a sudden they go bad now, I don't know how to do edges. I can't do all that extra stuff that people be doing. So, y'all gonna get real basic because that's all I got for y'all. That's all I got for y'all. Let me just come in a little closer because I can't see. Ooh, ignore that pimple, guys. I'm working on uh, my face had broke out terribly and I'm on day two of trying to revive it. So it's like bringing out all the impurities in my skin and hopefully by the end of the week they'll be gone. It's looking better already honestly and I popped that this morning. That's why it looks trash like that. I don't know what I'm doing because I don't know how to work baby hairs. I feel like I put a whole glop of gel right here or uh, whatever. Anyway, this is what it looks like up close. I'm going to turn around so you guys can see the back. So it looks like on the inside still. Not too bad. Alright, um, so yeah, this is the end of the road. So we got a nice re-moisturized, and it gave me a nice, like another good week of this, and then I'll take it out sometime this weekend, so you guys can see, I'm going to do a nice, good, deep condition, um, yeah, it needs it. And then we're gonna make sure we cut the ends like um I don't like I don't know if you guys can see it. What the ends of my hair look like. What I'm probably gonna do is like cut off this much, maybe more. Cause it needs it. I'm trying to think if I wanna go back to dark hair, I think I'm gonna try to dye my hair or like color it, maybe do a rinse. Go back to black. Or not back to back because I never really was black. But go black for a little bit. But every time I try, it doesn't. It reverts right back to this. So, yeah. I thought about cutting all the color out. But we'll see. Anyway, that's my little refresher course for this. Thank you guys for watching. And...